What's going on, people? Jada Black here, back with another video. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe to Jada Black live streams too. Uh, that's where I'm going to do my next show at. So make sure you're there. I'm going to usually go live uh, right around 6:30, 7 o'clock, sometimes 8, depending on the night. So make sure you go subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you know when I'm going live. All right. Now this video is going to be about an interesting article I came across called PsychologyToday.com. It says feminists think sexist men are sexier than woke men. Now, I have spoken about the dynamics of nice guys or men who sort of pander and become female allies, men who claim to be woke and they're in support of women, being in leadership positions and things of that nature. I've spoken about how those men get no respect. Uh, women don't respect those guys. Those guys are usually the guys who are the best, the, not the best men, but usually are in the friend zone or what I like to call the freezer. Um, <laughs> I, make a, I, may, I spoke about that in live, so I may make a video on, on what the freezer is. And these guys are constantly going out of their way to show women that they're in support of women, you know? And this article makes the correlation between you know, these nice guys, you know, these friend zone guys and incels, which is very interesting because looking at this article is basically about women who claim to hate sexist and misogynist men actually being turned on by those guys because it's the opposites attract. I don't care how much a female talks about how she doesn't like something nine times out of 10, she actually does. Okay. And she's only complaining because she can't be with that particular type of guy, okay? And I want people to understand, I don't care how feminist a woman is, I don't care how, you know, uh, how, you know, she just dislikes men who are misogynistic and sexist. You know, the, the women who complain about the videos that I make or that other guys make in regards to men's rights or in regards to men speaking on, you know, red-pilled issues. Those women are still going to come around because they are attracted to that type of mindset of a man doing and thinking what he wants without seeking the approval of women. And I've said this. You dudes that claim to be woke and claim to be for empowering women, those women don't respect that. I want you to understand they don't respect that. Yo, know, that's not going to turn them on. That's going to turn them off when they can blatantly see that you're trying to uh, pander to them, kiss up to them, tell them what they want to hear. That's not going to attract them. It's not. And a lot of the, as this article will say, the pickup artist community has picked up on that because women, I don't care who she is. They want a man who is assertive and dominant. They don't want a guy who's soft and timid. They don't want a guy who capitulates. They don't want a guy who's going to do everything they tell them. This is why women will go out and cheat. Because they're not getting something at home. And you do see that. You got women out here who have a whole boyfriend and husband at home, but they will get on social media and go looking for what they don't have at home. Okay? And the same thing could be said for a lot of these women who get on social media and are constantly in the faces of men they claim they don't like. Why are you tweeting, constantly tweeting men you don't like? Why are you constantly on their timeline? Why are you constantly criticizing their videos? Why are you trying to get their attention? Let's take a look at the conscious community. And the fact they're always talking about what you know white people are doing and, and this, that, and the third. Why are you so concerned? You know, is it because you want to be a part of it? Is it because you have some envy in you? Who knows? But I just think that women, for the most part, like a man who has a bit of misogyny in him. And what's funny is that the women who will then say, you know what, I embrace that guy being assertive and dominant and masculine. Those women will be called out for what they called it, internalized misogynistic attitudes. And called all different types of names because they will openly support and want to be with a man who likes being a man, okay? That is not gonna bend the knee to any you know, particular 
you know, female who does not like what the person is saying. And I want y'all to understand that the, the, the whole thing about opposites attracting is very true, especially when it comes to women. We've all been in school and you had the female that constantly, you know, likes to, you know, uh, talk crap about a guy and she likes to always be in his face and, you know, tr pretending like she doesn't like him. But next thing you know, she ends up dating the guy. That's in real life. Because women have very weird ways of showing a guy that she likes him. It's just like when women like to playfully wrestle with you and you, ain't, you haven't known her for an hour and she's already playfully wrestling with you. That lets you know that she's letting you know as a guy that she, she likes you. She's interested in you. Um, but she doesn't want to verbalize it. So physically sure she'll do it. You know? It's just very weird ways of, that women like to show you that they like you, man. You know? And I think that for a lot of us as men, we especially if you're a red-pilled man, you understand that women love bad boys. You understand women like, you know, guys who have that swag or, you know, have street in them. You know, guys who are considered thugs. Women are very attracted to that. Women from different backgrounds, different cultural groups and races. A lot of them still have that attraction towards the bad boys. Now, usually that's a phase, but you still will have women in their 30s and 40s still chasing behind those types of guys because they've never grown up mentally. Okay, and they're comfortable dating those types of guys. They are seeking masculine energy. They think those type of guys give them that. Okay, but then they'll tell their daughters not to date those type of guys. But you're dating those type of guys. Or they'll tell their friends not to date those type of guys. But they're but the guy that they're with is the guy who they're telling their friends not to date. And this is why, for a lot of you woke brothers, this is why you're getting friends on. Because these women don't respect you. They know you're lying to them. They know you're just trying to get some. And women can sense that a mile away. They can sense that you're telling them what they want to hear because you're trying to get some. So why even do it? Why even put yourself in a position to be friend zoned and curved? And now all of a sudden, you're, you're basically like one of these incels that is complaining about women liking this guy or that guy, but you were part of the woke brothers community and you were trying to uplift these females, but then they, how do they repay you? By putting you in the friend zone, putting you deep in that freezer, okay? <laughs> to, to where you can't get out of it, okay? To where you can't make up no ground. You can't just switch up and be a bad boy. Like you can't, listen, you can't teach a guy to be no alpha male. You either are one or you're not, okay? So, a lot of these guys will try to switch up, but by then it's too late. Now, you may change how you act and your dating habits, but for the most part, a lot of women are attracted to the opposite of them. So, if they are, you know, one of these women who's all about empowering women and not liking misogyny, and they want to talk about how men are becoming sexist and this, that, and the third. I want you to understand there's a method to their madness. The dudes that they usually are with are everything they claim to hate. And that's why you have communities like the PUAs who understand this. The PUAs understand better than anybody how to act to get a woman's attention. You know? And you can't be out here acting like, you know, her, her brother. Or acting like her bestie. Because that's how she's going to treat you. Okay? If you're trying to sleep with a woman, try to at least be as honest as possible without coming off as thirsty. Okay? Let her know your intentions. And then make give it... Not give it. And then, then, um, then put her in the position to make the decision. But if you are a Sigma male, the women come to you. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Let me let me get back to it. But what I'm saying is, is that these women are openly now claiming this. That they like bad boys. The men that they claim to hate because of their misogyny and their disdain for women and women empowerment. I think that overall, what you're seeing in society is a lack of masculinity in men. 
and the lack of the media wanting to promote that. Because, you know, in, in like movies and TV shows, let's say 70s, 80s and 90s, even before then, masculine men were promoted. And look at the guys that they would put in these roles. They would look the part. They would speak the part. And they were what men would look up to as that's the type of man you should be. But if you look at the men now, take, for instance, the Han Solo movie. Now, I haven't seen the newest one. I, I haven't heard the best things about it. But you look at the guy they chose to play Han Solo in this film. But look at Harrison Ford. They're like two different guys. You know, instead of choosing somebody who would have that same rugged look that would fit the role of Harrison Ford, you go with a guy who is, is a little shorter, is a little smaller, um, look somewhat, you know, but his character in the movie, if I'm not mistaken, his character was more, took a back seat, you know what I'm saying? Like he was more, he like he basically was the guy who was trying to get out the friend zone, trying to win the approval of the particular female. And instead of Han Solo representing a guy who can get the women, who can attract the women, the women just want to be with him, be around him, this guy was going to try to win the approval of said females. And that's what you have in society. We have a society of guys who are trying to win the approval. They think that by being nice and being, you know, uh, feminist supportive, to these women that it's going to get them farther and it's not maybe some sometimes maybe it does but that doesn't mean that she's going to respect you it doesn't mean that you know she you're the man she's always sought she's always going to seek a man who's more masculine a man who you know is in shape you know physically that's why women always care about a guy's height you got women that love guys with beards or whatever you know it's because they want masculine features you know and pandering to these females will not get you far. It really won't. It might get you a pat on the back, pat on the head. That's it. You may get one of those friend hugs. Y'all know them females that be giving them friend hugs. <laughs> That's all you gonna get from them, fam. <laughs>